Sorry folks, I know I was promising something back this week. But some things didn't line up like I was planning. And two, I have been not feeling the best way I could even get up and really move. Normally I say stuff like this on my shorts. But I'm doing a full video of explanation. Yes, I'm having health issues. But that is not going to stop me from doing my, my thing I love to do, which is talk about cars, talk about life in general. Next week, I'm going to go on back to the Toyota. Motors. I'm going to do part three. I'm already in the process of writing it. As you see, <coughs> I've just been dealing with a lot this week, this past two weeks, as far as that. But hopefully, by I'm writing this now, I did get a laptop, but I'm having issues. Because it was supposed to be done a certain way and it didn't get done. So I'm having to, I've gotten in contact with the company that does it. I'm having to send it back because it did not get completed like it was supposed to. So there were some issues with being able to type, with how it looks. Um, so I'm waiting on to hear back from them. Hopefully Monday, because I've, I've heard back from them once they wanted order number so they could correct it. And so I'm waiting on to hear what they got planned for me. And that should be Monday when I hear back on that. Uh, I'm also got. I may be up downloading from here, from my phone that I record on to my laptops maybe this week while I'm at it. If I could borrow my sister's laptop to do the transfer. And then I'm also going to be, I may do a video midweek. I may do a couple shorts this week just to talk about little minor things on cars like the one of my favorite little things that most people don't realize before we had the twist knob for the selection of the um for your transmissions like your Mercedes, your BMWs and stuff. We actually used to have push button transmissions back in the 50s. But, and that came from Ford, not Mercedes, like everybody thinks. Mercedes ain't always the one, first ones to have stuff. And this I will tell Jerry Clarkson right to his face. He does not know everything about cars. I don't know everything about cars. But I know a heck of a lot more than he does. Because he didn't look, he don't look and do research like a true journalist about knowledge of cars. Trust me, if he did, he, and he didn't have his smart ass attitude, he still have Top Gear on every week with him being headlined in it. But that's part of the reason why he got canned. His smart, his, his smart ass mouth with his dumb ass attitude. Thinking he knows everything. <laughs> and then having two idiot co-hosts, James May and Richard Hammond, who refused to really stand up and tell him, shut up. You don't know everything, and now you see why 
ما ما and them I got it. I don't know if it's still on because I don't get to see BBC. But that's life for you. But I'm drinking coffee, having my day. I will see y'all later. Welcome to and thank you for watching History of Cars.